take two. Here's a more difficult Avogadro's constant question. It says, how many atoms are present in 96 cubic centimetres of methane gas? And it tells us the molar volume is 24 metres per mole. It tells us this because we're dealing with a gas and we need to make some sense of this volume here. Where to begin? Well, we know one or two things for sure. We know one or two facts about one mole of methane. We know that one mole of methane, according to the molar volume, occupies 24 litres. We also know, because we have a mole, that we're talking about Avogadro's number. In 24 litres of methane, there's Avogadro's number of... Well, look at the formula. Look at the formula unit. We're not dealing with atoms, we're dealing with molecules, little packages. So in one mole of methane, we have Avogadro's number of these molecules. The question, however, talks about 96 cubic centimetres. So we'll have to convert 24 litres into cubic centimetres. 24 litres is 24,000 cubic centimetres. We can now say that in 24,000 cubic centimetres, we have 6 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. Which means that in 96 cubic centimetres, which is what the question is concerned with, we have how many molecules? Because this is a much smaller volume, we're dealing with a smaller number of molecules. We want to make the Avogadro constant smaller, so we write it down and multiply it with the smaller number on top and the larger number below. There. It's that fraction of Avogadro's constant. When we do this calculation, the answer comes to 2.4 times 10 to the power 21 molecules. Molecules of methane. But this is not the answer to the question. Because the question wanted to know how many atoms we're dealing with. Let's look again at this formula. CH4 represents a molecule of methane. And for every one molecule, we're dealing with one, two, three, four, five atoms. So if we have this number of molecules, we'll need to multiply by five to find the number of atoms. So the calculation is 2.4 times 10 to the power of 21 times 5, giving us a final answer of 1.2 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms. It can be done.